Uh, hello, uh, today is Saturday, October the 29th. Uh, I'm Ivan Atreo Pozoias. I'm an angelic oracle imagineer. Basically, I channel the, um, the angels for um, spiritual wisdom. I've been having a dialogue with them for about uh, 21 years time, which I call the Jewels of Truth series. I have uh, three books out. Um, um, each volume has around 365 of these spiritual wisdom, what I call statements. And they are f on a variety of topics. And each book is written in, in a A to Z format. Uh, today, I'll be reading from my first book that I originally published or self-published in uh, 2007. But from uh, iUniverse, the publisher. Uh, here's uh, what the book looks like. It's uh, called Jewels of Truth, um, A Soul Odyssey Within. It's the smallest of my uh, three books. Uh, my third book is, is really chunky. Let me see, I'll show it to you. This third book was written last year in 2015. And this is volume three, and this is volume one. And uh, in this series on my YouTube channel, I do readings from my books. So to, uh, to share some of the content to, to see. Um, yes, yeah, sorry about that. I had a little pause there. And uh, usually in this series on my YouTube channel, I would like to read from uh, the, the book. And, um, and I jump around uh, forward and backwards. And... Uh, and it's an ability, there's also a psychic ability called Stitchu Macy, which is uh, going through printed material and finding a message in it randomly. And if you do it through the Bible, it's called Biblio Macy. So let me start, uh, I'll read a few of these. Um, this first book has um, very short, usually one-liners or a paragraph. My later works have uh, are more lengthy, so you could see the incline how my uh, writing has evolved or the channeling I've done in automatic writing. Okay, we'll start with uh, gratitude on page 30 of volume 1. With unconditional gratitude in one's very own heart, we can achieve wonders. Absolute hope becomes a fulfilled reality in one's journey through life. And that's on... Um, Gratitude. Let me go to the next one. Greed, still on page 30. When in monastic orders, what monks take a vow of poverty so as to regain their authentic self by practicing mindful actions based on generosity, what you need does not denote to surrender what puts light in your heart, only not to hoard large quantities of it that it spoils your mood and your peace. And that was on greed. Let me go on to the last one on page 30. This is on guidance. Those who live by someone else's personal standards, whether as a child to parent, lover to lover, or employee to employer, shall live in misery. One must live by their own standards, otherwise heartaches will follow. Another person's standards may be unrealistic, overly ambitious, or completely erroneous, for such a person to live to fully. So follow your own inner light and be guided by such a benevolent Holy Spirit within. For this is a path to personal awakening and fulfillment. Amen. And that was on guidance. Let's jump around a little bit more. Let's see. Still on. Let me see. Let me go back. Okay, page 38. And this book is around, let me see how many pages. It's a small book. It's 83 pages in length. So, uh, this is on the topic of journey, page 38. And I'll read out the entire segment. One of the kind of early mistakes I made was, which I corrected in volume 2 and volume 3, is after each statement, I didn't put a little separation between them, so it looks like it's an entire paragraph or something, or like they're all jumbled together. 
like on the topic of journey I have one two three four five statements but they all they're not separated so much except for the sentences the journey is not in the finishing but in in the doing with heartfelt intent that blesses that traveler with utmost dignity utmost care and dignity that's on journey the next one life is funny when we come to an end of a path we didn't even know we were on the journey to begin with which hopefully is for our own good the next one god loved us so much that he gave us our freedom those who truly remember him return back into this his awaiting arms those who have forgotten their home go elsewhere if they ever remember again in eternity the fourth one the journey of life is a ritual of love even though the multiple gateway destinations we encounter to our next infinite journey and the fifth one this is one of my favorites if I uh, I could put this on my tombstone when I pass away it'll be a joy the journey of my soul does not end here on this earth but continues onward in creation enjoy your journey because it's infinite yes let me see uh, okay this would be page 18 and I'll read the entire page and it has four different topics on the topic of education educate yourself with, with knowledge and wisdom the more you learn the more you earn in life education with wisdom and knowledge sets us free in all manners of limitation and then the next one is on ego still on page 18 man has been more inspired with his ego than being inspired with his divinity which has caused untold su suffering in history remembered and especially history that has been forgotten due to sloth or by convenience and since I'm a gamer I did one on uh, electronic online games the mystery of massively multiplayer online games for players is they invest their souls in their virtual online journey this leads them beyond entertainment but the evolving definition of who they are and shall become as people and number um, on empowerment the last one of the page whoever has the empowerment in oneself can play the game of life on a scale that dwarfs their previous self. And let me see. Okay, we're on page 46 under the topic of light. Once you've seen the light, you can't go back into darkness, for its emptiness will unsettle any who attempt to return to such a voided condition. On living. And there will be four on this one. If you follow your will, you may just exist. But if you follow God's will, you really live. The next one. Do you think of yourself as insignificant in this world? Question mark. You are not. For we are all still valued as a small part of our world. As co-creators in God's plan of orchestration for all of eternity. Next one. It is braver to live than to die. Anyone can die, but very few truly live. And the last one on living. We are made in the image of God on an eternal soul level. We are made in the image of our earthly parents on a physical level only. However, many do not notice this, this distinction in life. And the last one on uh, loneliness, and it's a very short one. Lonely people know how to please. Let me see. And let me just do a few more. Okay. I'll do page 49 on lovers, which I sort of did in my um, uh, other video on a more recent uh, Jewels of Truth statement. May have been 1,129, but this one is a small one one paragraph when you truly encounter someone that would be your future lover on this earth and your eyes gaze into each other your souls are remembering what was and by your sacred permission on a mutual basis what will be once more building that former relationship 
where you both last left off in total bliss. Such is the state of profound intimacy for an eternal soul that transcends beyond hum humanity, but to all other species of life. That's on lovers. Now on loyalty, still on page uh, 49. In the realm of darkness, loyalty and support is paid in entrapment and death as a conclusion. In the realm of light, loyalty and support is gifted with freedom and everlasting life as a form of gratitude. And on luck. Luck is divinity disguised for the good. Bad luck is the expression of fear on a subconscious level that is embedded in the recesses of the mind that needs to be dislodged. And the last one here. Good luck is the expression of your divinity within. So basically that's a sampling of Jewels of Truth, A Soul Odyssey Within, Volume 1, 83 pages in length as a paperback. It's also available in Kindle uh, and also Barnes & Noble Nook. And if you don't either have of the, either, either of those uh, ebook readers, it's in PDF through um, the iUniverse.com um, bookstore. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Uh, thank you for watching up to this point. And if you wish to learn more about me, uh, my website is jewelsoftruth.us. I repeat, jewelsoftruth.us. And if you like this video, please like and also subscribe to the channel. And I'm also on Facebook under Atreo's Oracle, which the link will be in my website. And I appreciate it. And uh, have a good weekend. And enjoy your Halloween. Bye-bye.